Capricorn is represented by the sea goat in the zodiacal menagerie of mascots. The way the glyph, or the symbol, for Capricorn is written is intended to depict the horns of the goat and its fish tail. This is a reference to the Greek myth related to this zodiac sign, which goes as follows. The king of the gods, Zeus, was given up by his biological mother as a baby because his father wanted to eat him. That's a whole other long story. Suffice it to say that Zeus was adopted in secret for his own protection. Some versions of the myth say that his foster mother, Amalthea, was a goat herder. Others say that she was an actual goat. Either way, Zeus was very fond of his foster mother who had selflessly raised him, and the ancient Greeks revered goats as very nurturing animals. Fast forward to when Zeus was fully grown and fighting the monster Typhon, and the king of the gods was once again aided by another goat called Pan. They escaped the monster by jumping into a river and turning themselves into aquatic creatures, with the goat god Pan being transformed into a sea goat with a fish tail. Zeus honored his goat family and friends by turning them into the constellation we now know as Capricorn. Constellations to the ancient Greeks were kind of like a hall of fame where people or animals who did extraordinary things or played some important role in the mythos were given a place of privileged memorialization in the stars. This myth speaks to Capricorn's tireless efforts to create a sense of security for the people and things they care about. Parenting and looking after something vulnerable are the central themes emphasizing Capricorn's responsible nature and also their nurturing qualities. This is something that gets overlooked with this sign a lot. Capricorns tend to get labeled as emotionally cold and business-like in mainstream astrology sources, but their workaholic tendencies typically stem from a deeper desire to nurture something, to protect something, to care and provide for something. They just happen to be very efficient at the way they go about it, and that productivity is all anyone notices on the surface. When Capricorn takes on a responsibility, they have a determination to see it through and to do so with distinction. Amalthea successfully raised Zeus into not just a happy and healthy adult, but one who would go on to become the actual king of heaven. She was like the mother of all mothers. Similarly, there's this drive in Capricorn to not just perform a task, but to be the greatest of all time at performing that task. A desire to achieve excellence. Pan later risked his own safety to help Zeus, which also speaks to Capricorn's bravery. This sign doesn't typically have the blustering bravado that we might expect to see in fire signs. Capricorn's bravery is a bit more subtle. It's a tenacious refusal to give up, a dedication to face whatever hardships or dangers arise with honor and dignity. Now we'll get into a bit about the animal characteristics in general and how this applies to Capricorn. Goats are quite a robust animal. We can think about the way mountain goats survive up down inhospitable cliff faces. There's a stability in goats that allows them to gracefully navigate terrain which would be difficult if not impossible to traverse by many other creatures. Just as there's a stability in Capricorn that allows them to gracefully navigate the rocky challenges of life where many other signs would falter. Thank you so much for listening Capricorn. Leave a like if you enjoyed this, comment if you have any questions, share this with your friends or other Capricorns in your life, and please subscribe. I would be so happy to have you with me.